what I'm going to do next is just build up the colours in the foreground. So start off with some white with some yellow ochre. Dab the brush onto the canvas. Some pale olive green, just deepen that colour a little bit there. Touch of blue in with that. And the same colours over the other side, so just dab with the brush, short downward brush stroke like that. Just give the impression of uh, some grasses and other bits and pieces, so strengthen the colour on the other side of the footpath. Move on still to a bluey green, so some cobalt blue, pale olive green and just a touch of hooker's green. Step off some more textures into the, the tree there. This will soften the, uh, the tree trunks that I put in earlier. Right. Keep it fairly strong and dark in the foreground. I'm going to use large detail brush, some burnt umber, some ultramarine, which gives me a sort of a, a greyish colour, then some white. What I'm going to do is put in a silver birch in here, going up, fairly strong, lean it towards the centre of the, uh, the painting, so this one, it would just put two side by side, right the way up, again out of the top of the painting. And what we do is just let that dry off for now. While that's drying, with the half rigger, some ultramarine with some hooker's green. Just start to put in a few more branches in amongst the, the trees in the background. Goes up there. Small detail brush, a light colour, yellow ochre, some white and just a touch of pale olive green. Just make that just a little bit stronger. gives the impression of some sunlight coming through the trees onto those tree trunks. Going on to the silver birch again, some white with some cobalt blue. And run that colour down the side of the tree like that. Some more white. Drag the brush horizontally to give that uh, impression of the, the bark on this smaller silver birch. Put in one or two branches coming out. This is with some, uh, some white. Then the markings, using a dark color this is burnt umber and ultramarine, which gives you virtually a black. Still with the small detail brush. There's the broken bark at the base of the tree. Like that, so just darken that. Some horizontal brush strokes for the, for the markings. Same, same on this smaller tree here. And just blend that into the, uh, the ground there. S still with that dark colour. Just make this a little bit darker as it goes up like that. So it starts off light here 
that actually becomes darker as it goes up out of the painting. We have this very smooth footpath. I'm just going to add some texture to it using the foliage brush and I'm going to use some cobalt blue, touch of crimson and some burnt sienna. So it's sort of a, a greyish colour. Just stipple some texture into that. So just dab with the foliage brush. Next, we're going to just put some shading across the, the footpath. So for that, the colour I'm going to use is some cobalt blue with some crimson, a little bit of white, and then tone it down with some burnt sienna. Now there's a dark area here, which will probably be from a tree or something else outside of the painting, casting a shadow across the floor of the, the wood. So we just paint that in like that. Leave a few gaps for some sunlight blend that into there so we have that line running across there. Down here in the foreground a similar colour, maybe just make that just a little bit stronger with some burnt sienna. So add some burnt sienna to the cobalt blue and crimson, so it's just a little bit darker. Just blend that dark colour into the dark green. Leave a few gaps so you get that dappled sunlight effect. Right. For the shading further away, you just make this a bit lighter. So add some white into the crimson, cobalt blue, a touch more blue. Similar colour to this, but add some white to it and it just makes it lighter. So continue that. Still no sign of the bluebells yet. Patience. Right, so th there's a pool of sunlight here. So I'm just going to emphasise that just a little bit more with some white and cad cadmium yellow. And over this side as well. Some burnt sienna. Just flick up with the fan stippler. Some more colours in there. So again, a little bit lighter in here and a similar colour on the opposite bank. Before we put the bluebells in, just finish off the canopy of leaves with the golden leaf brush. Squeeze the water out of the brush so it's fairly dry. Open the brush up so there's plenty of gaps between the bristle and hair. Pick up a light colour this time. Some white with some pale olive green. Bash the brush so it opens the whole thing up. Then very gently tap the brush onto the surface of the paper and just break up some of these tree trunks. So on this branch here, just stipple like that. Not too much, just enough to just soften the whole thing. Add a bit of pale olive green into the leaves on that silver birch right at the top of the, the painting. Just a few leaves and things down there just to break up this dark area. And over this side here, just clean little space in the palette where I'm going to mix the colours for the, for the bluebells. Let's just use a bit of uh, kitchen towel. I'm going to start off with the large 
golden leaf brush. Some white, just need a touch more white. The great thing with these Stay Wet palettes is that you can put quite a lot of paint in here knowing that it won't actually dry, providing you put the lid on when you finish painting. So start with some white, then add some cobalt blue into the white. Then just a touch of crimson. And that will give you the basis for your bluebell colour. And just start to just dab with the brush. And the idea of putting this in last is that you get this carpet of bluebells and it should look as if you've got a haze of purple. If you feed the this bluebell colour into the painting, so it just leads you down towards that footpath. It draws the eye into the centre of the painting. Right, then with a lighter colour, this is just add some, uh, some white, maybe just a touch of crimson into that. So it's fairly light. And then into the sunlit area here, bit stronger again, a little bit darker, some more crimson. Just stipple that more into the foreground. Wash the brush out. Then with the foliage brush, which is the smaller version of the golden leaf, just finish off just a few dabs like that, so you get these individual flower heads. Like that. Wash the brush out again. The half rigger. Some white, pale olive green. Just add a few grasses and things in the foreground here, just to break up that foreground just a little bit. Just flick. Possibly just pick out a little bit of white on the silver birch, just there, where the sunlight just catches it. Now a light colour with some pale olive green. Let's put a few highlights on some of these trees in the background. And the rest of it, of course, is just fiddling. So there we have a very, very simple bluebell wood. Just give it a go, it's really that easy. Now available on DVD. Try these techniques yourself at home whenever you wish. The extended version of today's workshop is now available to order on DVD from the Painting and Drawing channel. For further information and to order your copy, go to www.paintingdrawingchannel.com.